the rosary is more powerful than you can possibly imagine, especially in its relief of the suffering of the souls in purgatory. And one particular saint was unbelievably powerful in doing so, Saint Juan Macias. He was born on March 2nd, 1585 in a small village in southwestern Spain. His parents were poor farmers. They both died when he and his sister Agnes were young. The two were then raised by their uncle whose last name was Macias, which he took as their own. When he was 16, he met a Dominican priest while attending a mass in a neighboring village. Like most young people, Juan was full of wonder about what his future would hold. This experience made a new impression on Juan and it opened his heart to the possibility of a Dominican vocation. Unlike most young people, Juan received another special grace that he began seeking God's will for his life and he was especially favored by being visited by the Blessed Mother and St. John throughout his life. At the age of 35, he still felt drawn to the Dominican order, but St. John told him it was not to be in Spain, but in Lima, Peru. In 1622, Juan entered the Dominican convent of St. Mary Magdalene in Lima, Peru. He entered as a lay brother who was not ordained, who instead of preaching would do the manual labor necessary in the monastery. He was the doorkeeper until his death in 1646, and although he was uneducated, he exemplified the Dominican charism. Like St. Dominic, he would learn theology not through books, but through the cross, and he spent his entire life preaching that to those that he met. One of his main duties was to meet the poor who came to the door, and he would often meet and help over 200 people, often miraculously. Everyone knew that he would work hard to help others, and even if he would go and seek help and alms to give to the poor and come back empty-handed, somehow he would be able to help all of them that came to him. Arguably the most amazing thing that he did was his help of the holy souls in purgatory, earning him the title of thief of purgatory because he would constantly intercede for them, never missing a day. Hear him in his own words. I, Friar John, often wondered, O Lord, when will so many sins come to an end? When will men love you? When will your creatures cease to fear you and worship you? In the beginning, I was not so devoted to the souls in purgatory. Servant of God, the souls in purgatory told me, remember us, do not forget us, help us with your prayers in the presence of God, and pray to his divine majesty to take us out of these sorrows. The crowd was so large that it was like a swarm of bees. Turning to them, I answered, what can I, holy souls, do or ask for you, being a wretched man? At the hour of his death, he revealed to the prior of the convent, by the mercy of God, with the praying of the Holy Rosary, I have released 1.4 million souls. When I prayed in the church with frequency, I would hear their voices supplicating me, people who would speak and I couldn't see, but I could hear their voices clearly. Brother John, until when will we be deprived of seeing God? Help us, I would ask them, who are you? And they would clearly respond, we are the souls in purgatory. Remember us. Help us with your prayers so that we may be released from this terrible loneliness. If St. Juan Macias can release over a million and a half souls in purgatory by the simple praying of the rosary, imagine how many you can.